Earthships are structures that are built using recycled materials, take advantage of natural phenomena, produce goods and use technology, creating beneficial contributions to environmental issues like the following. 1. Energy consumption. Fossil fuels supply around 90% of the world's commercial energy. This has to stop soon. Earthships reduce energy needs to a minimum by not needing central heating and air conditioning. By generating their own clean energy, they contribute to minimize global warming. 2. Water consumption. The water you normally get from the grid is pumped from lakes, rivers and underground water often travelling long distances for human usage, consuming a lot of energy. United Nations has pointed out that by the year 2025, 50% of the global population will have water scarcity problems. With Earthships, you harvest your own water, so it's a safe net, plus you help our planet by reducing global warming and water scarcity. 3. Sewage the sewage systems around the world are inefficient. Normally we don't separate grey from black water and in most places there aren't any water treatment plants so it goes directly to rivers, lakes and the sea. Earthships use water in such a manner that there is no actual discharge. Your wastewater will never leave your property, meaning you do not pollute nearby rivers, lakes or the sea. 4. Food consumption Global agriculture uses 60% of the total fresh water in the world. Food production today has to be technified to meet the large demand, resulting in burning fossil fuels, using chemical nutrients and pesticides, therefore emitting greenhouse gases, polluting soil, water and the product itself. Moreover, food is regulated by the economic market, making you vulnerable to shifts in prices and availability. Earthships produce food year-round, reducing expenses in family economy, health risks associated to pesticides and contaminants where food is grown, CO2 emissions by less fuel consumption, for example transportation for food imports, and water consumption for food production. 5. Wastes. Everything we consume is a potential waste, because nothing is useful forever. Some materials no longer used don't degrade, occupying space and contaminating in several ways. In the year 2000, the US, for example, generated 320,820,972.84 tonnes of waste from households, gardens, parks, as well as commercial and institutional entities. Earthships use materials like tyres, that otherwise would have little or no use at all. Starting with comfort. Earthships heat and cool themselves by harnessing the temperature of the weather, stabilizing the temperature inside the building. Three of the four outer walls of the building are surrounded by packed tires, acting as thermal mass, which is basically mass holding heat, the same way a barrel holds water. Even more soil is added to surround the cisterns and the vent tubes, resulting in huge insulation. First, we must understand the relationship between the sun and the Earth's movements. Summer and winter are determined by the amount of sunlight hitting the planet as it oscillates its orientation. For instance, in the northern hemisphere, summer happens when the Earth's inclination is such that the northern hemisphere itself receives sunlight in a straight manner. Therefore, when the southern hemisphere receives sunlight in the same way, summer occurs now in this hemisphere, resulting in winter on the opposite hemisphere. That is why, when it is summer in South America, it is winter in North America, and vice versa. So, during winter, in let's say America, all the glass along the south side of the airship lets the sun in, which heats the mass of the very thick walls. The earth behind these walls, acting as an insulator, doesn't allow the captured heat to be released on the other side. When the temperature in the room drops below the temperature in the walls, heat is released from the walls into the space available for people to enjoy all through the night. During summer, with the sun high in the sky, sunlight enters only into the planters. 
The naturally cool temperature of the underground soil cools the building down. Also, driven ventilation from underground cooling tubes plus operable windows and skylights provides additional cooling thanks to natural convection. All this results in not needing money nor fossil fuels to address our current needs for comfort. Energy. When packaged into a frame, a solar panel is created. This will provide electricity cleanly and quietly for the next 30 years. At its essence, generating electricity from the wind or sun is all about transferring clean energy from one medium to another. The power generated by our sources goes to the power organizing module. This distributes energy to the batteries. When fully charged, it stops charging and sends the current for household usage. It also prevents overdraining of the batteries, making them last much longer. Water from clouds is captured by the roof and channeled to gravel filters and silt catchers. So when it reaches your cisterns, it's clean. The water from the cisterns is then gravity fed into a water organizing module that pumps and filters water into a pressure tank for consumption and house usage. Sewage. Every time we wash something or flush the toilet, we create wastewater. Wastewater from sinks, showers, baths, kitchens and washing machines is called grey water. Usually grey water will contain household chemicals like soap and detergents and easily degradable organic materials like fat and oil. Consequently, grey water is channeled through a filter or digester for grease and particles, then sent into an indoor deep rubber-lined botanical cell. A botanical cell is a built soil ecosystem that consists of various soil layers. The first layer, composed of gravel, to allow water to flow and provide good aeration or oxygenation, preventing nasty smells. At the top of the botanical cell, plants absorb water by the process of transpiration, where evaporation from the leaves enable water to be absorbed through the roots. Nearby root soil dries out. The water at the bottom slowly flows towards the drier soil near the plants. The flow allows phosphates and household chemicals to be completely filtered. The peat moss provides additional filtering efficiently eliminating heavy metals, if any. At the end of the botanical cell, there is a grey water organising module which pumps the treated water to the toilets. Once the toilets are flushed, water now contains faecal coliforms and loads of organic materials. This is called black water, which goes to the septic tank. After the liquids are separated from the solids, the treated water is then channeled to an exterior landscaping botanical cell feeding outdoor plants in the same manner as the grey water botanical cell. In short, earthships make very efficient use of the captured water by using it four times. First, you use it to wash, then to water your indoor garden, then to flush the toilet, then to water your landscaped garden. Food production. To survive, grow and reproduce, plants need water, sunlight, carbon dioxide, oxygen and nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen. All of these are found inside the earthship, allowing many edible plant options to grow in your botanical cell. In short, earthships can grow food year-round by providing sunlight all year, protection for the plants from extreme conditions like frost, an automatic watering system, a good soil composition and nutrients from grey water like nitrogen and phosphorus.